go back to Sochi for a second. The last time a Hab goaltender had to star in Russia was you. And now Carey Price is going to face that. What I, what I find really interesting about him is that he started in Montreal spectacularly. Then he flattened out and maybe went down a bit for a while and then has had to find his way back. If you can survive that in Montreal, you're a pretty tough-minded person. And a pretty tough-minded person is what you need on, I hope, February the 23rd, when it is a Canada-Russia final. Ooh. That would be perfect. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? I was saying to Henderson that he always said that the goal he scored in the game before was the prettiest goal. Mm -hmm. And I had said to him, I thought the goal he scored, the big goal, was a better goal because it was a more Canadian goal because it was a bit stumbly and almost every player on the ice played a role. <laughs> like it was a dive and fall and we willed that puck in the net. Well, when that puck went in with 34 seconds to go, it was awfully pretty. <laughs> the rest of it, I didn't notice. Speaking of the Habs, I told the Habs you were coming in. I went to visit them. Going one on one is a breakaway. You got Ken Dryden in net. What's your move? Ooh, probably panicking. Ken Dryden now, right? Yeah, Not yeah. Ken Dryden uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't even shoot on him. I'd dump it in the corner and start, start cycling. No. Could I score on him? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, end up running him over somehow and getting a penalty. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Close my eyes and shoot. <laughs> I never got to watch him play, but I don't know. With these new Kevlar sticks, man, it might be tough with, like, no helmet and, like, <laughs> the gloves and stuff that they use. So, like, sorry, Ken. Like, if I, if I said I would score on you, it wouldn't be because you're not good. It's just probably the equipment's just not yeah. up to date. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, interesting that, that it would be PK or Subban that would say that. Yeah. And, of course, he's right. I mean, that if, that if he came in, it would be far harder for me to stop him than it would be for him to score. Right. And, and, and good for him as somebody who, is, who has a superstar's ability to also have a, a superstar's attitude. Um, I'm and, glad you uh, said that because I'm, I'm sort of tired of all the criticism of players. And PK gets it, I think, partly because of the fact that he's black, but partly because he's just an outrageous personality. Why don't we want guys like that? We want these guys, don't we? I think so. I mean, I think that all of us like to think we can do special stuff, and occasionally we can, um, but not that often. And and he can, mm -hmm. and uh, and and what he you know what he has to learn, and he's learning it, is is just to put that a little bit under control. And I remember watching him, and it was a playoff series three or four years ago, just when he started. And it was the final game, and I can't remember, in the, in the playoffs. And by this point, the Canadians were just dead. I mean, they, they, they were not going to win. Nothing was working. And they played Subban, and he had a horrible night. Just about everything went wrong. But what was really nice to see was he tried to do stuff. If he didn't try to do something, it would have been a very nice, cozy, easy drift into nothingness and, and a, a definite loss. He tried, he couldn't do it, it backfired, all the rest of it. But the instinct was the right instinct at that particular moment.